Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a really cute um, sour bracelet inspired by Olivia Rodrigo. So these are some stuff that you're going to need. I have like string, heshi beads, and this is a, brace, a sour bracelet that I have. So I'm kind of took a little bit of inspiration from this, but I'm just doing purple. Oh, I don't know if I said, I meant to say necklace. Um, so first you're going to start with your strings. I'm using a bit of a thicker string, not more of elastic for the necklace because that's what I prefer. Um, and you're going to, I prefer clipping it to start. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we have it and it's cut. So we have that and we actually need two of the, two pieces of the same size because we're, it's going to, the necklace is going to be like two different size con, sides connected. Um, so now you're going to take, um, a jump, you're going to need like jump rings, lobster clubs and clips so we have that for one side right there so we're gonna just work on that so basically you're gonna first so i don't know if i've ever used a lobster club on my channel um but you basically put the put the lobster club on like you put it through and then you tie a little knot and shut it like that So now you're gonna take your jump ring and add it to your lobster club. Lobster clap clap clasp. So you're gonna do that. And then once that is done, you're gonna take your clip and put it on the jump ring like so. Now that that is done, we are going to put that to the side for now. Um, and we're gonna use our other string. Um, so this will be the other side of our necklace. So basically it's gonna have the chain in the middle or the pin in the middle. Um, so it'll, it'll actually be really cute, but you have to just trust the process. So for this one, you're just gonna need a lobster club and a jump ring. You're just gonna attach it. Whoa, sorry, I had to change um, places. Um, so once that is done, you are going to, me doing ASMR. <laughs> you're gonna take your, um, what's it called? Your, I cannot speak. Your like purple beads, your smiley faces, and your pearls. So I'm using six purple beads, two smiley faces, and two pearls. Um, just kind of like a pattern. So once that, that's my, those are the beads. Um, and the pattern I'm gonna do, I'm gonna explain in a minute. So, and then, oh, you're also gonna need your hashi beads, I'm using bunch of different purples like a pinky purple a dark purple a really dark purple a light purple and like a white so i'm gonna we're gonna start with the smiley face and then go purple bead three beads this is pattern i doing you don't have to follow this but this is just what i'm doing and then i'm gonna continue with another purple bead and then do a pearl oh sorry i mean to say purple bead pearl purple bead purple bead pearl purple bead wow that's a tongue twister and then again you're going to do three in between each okay once your entire necklace is done um that's like one third of it i would say or or two fifths of it i don't know but you're going to do the same pattern for your other side, like so. So now, um, once that is done, you're gonna put those to the side and we're gonna work on the other part of our necklace. You're gonna use a safety pin and be careful with safety pins so you don't get cut. And now you're gonna take beads that spell out sour. 
So I'm using these really small ones because I kind of like the aesthetic. Also, my other beads were a bit too big. And I feel like they fit it well. Like, I don't know. I just kind of think the aesthetic looks cute. And, yeah. Because, like, that was the only ones that fit. So now I'm going to put them on like so. And you could either have them going on the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, so it can either go either, it could go either way. Um, again, it doesn't matter. I just put mine on the bottom because, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to take two jump rings, put them on either side of the safety pin. And the safety pin size I have is a bit of a normal size. It's, like, not too big, not too small. But, again, be careful with safety pins, and your parents may need to help you. Um, oh, so one... And then you're going to tie, you are going to use the jump rings to tie it onto the necklace. Okay, so once the jump rings are on, you can just tie them to the other ends of your necklace that don't have any string. And yeah, that's the bracelet, I mean necklace. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.